Stay outside, I'ma open up a window And blow out the scene though Get the whole world hot Starting with my city Now who's coming? What's up YouTube? Chef Hans here bringing you another adults only CBD and cannabis product review Let's have some fun guys, get right into it I'm excited for this one today, guys. Today, we are talking about Cascadia Blooms. They're an awesome hemp company, guys, and what I'm about to show you is gonna blow your mind. But before we get into that, we're gonna talk about our disclaimer. Disclaimer, I did not pay for these products. They sent these products to me for, to review, but I wanna assure you right now, I'm gonna give you an unbiased review. If this stuff sucks, you're gonna know about it. So let's get right into the flower, guys. So what they sent me, was they sent me three strains that they have, okay? They sent me some spa Sour Space Candy, which y'all know is my favorite. All right, so I never do good on the close-ups on the packaging, but you'll see the flower up close. Just a Mylar, it's got the specs on the back, okay? See the flower on the front with a cool little sticker. So that's a quarter. Then they sent me seven grams of their special sauce. Love, love, love the special sauce. There's some specs on the back, okay? And then last but not least, they sent me some Electra. Electra, haven't had that in quite a while. Here's the specs on the Electra. We'll bring it down close, let's take a look at it. But this is how it came in the package. So it came in a small box, these were heat sealed. Got your law enforcement form, got to need that. And you got your lab sheets. Perfect, that's the way you do it right there. So let's go over each strain. We'll talk about the smells. We'll talk about the specs. After that, we'll bring it down low. We'll take a look at it up close. We'll smoke it off screen. We'll come back and tell you about the effects. So let's start with the Sour Space Candy. So now this one's coming in at 12.8% CBD. Okay, that's the total CBD with low Q on the Delta 9 THC. So that means the THC was so low that it was undetectable. Usually that limit's like 0.04. The federal limit's 0.3. So, usually that's the limit. Let's go ahead and crack the Sour Space Candy open. Y'all know this is my favorite strain. Look, I ain't even got, I didn't even have to put my nose to it. I can smell it right now. Damn, that is some Sour Space Candy. When you get some legit Sour Space Candy, you know it. As soon as you crack it open, it's that sour, funky, astringent, punch you in the face. Oh man, it is just so sour, so pungent, smells so good, so funky. Love me some Sour Space Candy, guys. It, it's an unmistakable smell. Once you smell it, you, you'll know it every time when you smell it. You're like, oh my God. All right, so the next one, let's flip our sheet here. We'll go to the next one, which is going to be the special sauce. And the special sauce, guys, it's special, that's for sure. Now this one's coming in at 15.9% CBD, okay? So it's up there, it's getting on up there. Low Q again on the Delta 9 THC on this. Let's talk about the CBG, 0.16 CBG on the special sauce, 0.26 on the CBN. That's what's up, I like some CBG, CBN. Uh, low Q on the Space Candy, by the way, 0.14 on the CBG, low Q on the CBN. So let's go ahead and crack open the special sauce, see how special. And again, I, I don't know how to put my nose in it. I mean, it, as soon as you crack it open, it that's how punch, that's how great this flower is. It's been cured so well that when you crack this thing open, I mean, it's just punch you right in the face. Now, what I'm getting with this, it's like this musky type of body odor, funky gym sock type of smell with this like musky cheesiness underneath it, right? And some people be like, ew, that sounds nasty. But no, 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 I don't think it's nasty at all. I like that smell. Now, I don't personally like that smell like on other people, but when it comes to my cannabis, it's a good smell. And man, guys, this stuff is so loud. I mean, you can literally smell it just like pouring out of this bag. That's how pungent this stuff smells. This special sauce is special too. We'll talk about that when we bring it down close, okay? Last but not least... See if I can flip it here. We got the Electra. I've had lots of Electra guys from all kinds of different places. This Electra is pretty damn good. 15.3% uh, on the total CBD on this one. All right, so we got 0 0.062 on the Delta 9 THC. So what that means is it's still under that 0 0.3. It's not 0 0.03. The federal limit is 0 0.3. So this is 
0.062. So we're good on that. CBG is 0.19, CBN 0.47. Love that higher rate of CBN and CBG. So let's go ahead and talk about the smell. Oh. Gotta, gotta, gotta get a little bit closer on the Electra. But again, guys, I mean, so this kind of has like this citrusy, kind of piney smell to it. Citrus pine with like a, kind of like a cleaner, like a pine saw cleaner almost. Um, and then it's got like this real musky, funky undertone on the back end. And, and wow, that smells awesome. Uh, definitely had to get just a little bit closer to the bag to be able to smell it. And for some reason, it's not as, um, pungent. Well, I mean, it's still pretty pungent, but it, it's like when you crack those open, it just escaped the bag. When I crack this open, not so much, but when you get down close, oh, you can smell it. So let's bring it down close, guys. Let's, let's take a look at it. Like I said, we'll... Look at it, we'll come off screen, we'll smoke it, we'll come back, we'll tell you about the effects of all the others. So Cascadia Blooms, let's go down low now. All right guys, so here we are with the Electra from Cascadia Blooms. Guys, this stuff is awesome looking. Look at this flower. Woo wee, that stuff is frosty and purple. Look at that one, look at the seed. See the seed right there? It's a seed in the womb. Look at that. Got a little seed in the womb. We'll see about that. Man, this stuff is super frosty. Some of it's purple, as you can see right here. Some of it's got some uh, burnt copper pistols on it. Very dense, very, very well cured. Uh, trim could be just a little bit better on that. They left some of the purple leaf matter, but some of the trimming is pretty good. Let's crack this butt open. Right here, and as you can see, super frosty on the inside. Wow, that's some good looking stuff, guys. It smells awesome. Can't wait to smoke this. Let's bring you uh, on to some other stuff, and we'll come back and tell you about the effects in a minute. All right, guys, so here you are with the special sauce from Cascadia Blooms. This one's coming in at 15.9% uh, CBD with a low Q on the Delta 9 THC. Guys, this stuff is super frosty as well and very pungent. Oh my gosh, the smell is coming off of this. We got some purple buds here. They look very nice, very nice. Get you up close and let you see the trichomes all over it. Nice orange pistols. Look at that purple bud. Con moisture content's very nice. The trim drop could be just a smidge better, but that's okay. That's all right. Let's crack this bud open here. Let's just see. Frosty it is here. We'll crack one of the purple ones open. Look at this purple. Let's see. Crack that open there. Oh yeah. Look how frosty that is. We'll tell you how it smokes here in a minute. We'll come back and tell you about the effects. But man, this special sauce is special. Alright guys, so here we are with my favorite sour space candy. 12.8% on the CBD. Low Q on the Delta 9 THC. Look at this big old nugget. Look how big this thing is. And it is solid. Man, that's some Fuego fire. The smell coming off this stuff, guys, is amazing. Trim job could be a little better. Just a smidge. It's probably machine trimmed if I had to guess. Maybe it's hand trimmed. Oh, look at the seed in the womb. Oh, man. But look how frosty it is on the inside. Guys, this flower is a fuego fire. Man, the, oh, the smell coming off of this. I love the smell of Sour Space Candy, guys. It is absolutely my favorite strain in the whole wide world right now. Love me some Sour Space Candy. Oh, the smoke on it is so good. This little dense nugget, let's crack that bad boy open. Look at that. Wow, that is just crazy, guys. We'll come back and tell you about how it smokes, but I can already tell you it's gonna smoke awesome. So all in all, guys, this stuff from Cascadia Blooms is some Fuego Fire. And I'm going to say it right now. They are now in my top five. I got to get some more stuff from them. This stuff is some Fuego Fire. Some, probably some of the best flower I've seen in a hot minute. Uh, definitely 
well grown, well well grown, well cured, dried properly, wasn't rushed on the back end. And that's the thing I hate about some people with the hemp companies these days. Not all I haven't had many like this. I had just a few. But you get some that just like they rush their drying and, and curing process. I, I feel like like more mainstream kind of like the I don't know, I've had some of that like TKO stuff you see at the gas station. I've tried a couple of those, but they weren't anything legit like this. This stuff is some Fuego Fire. Let's go backwards. We're going to talk about the Electra first. Amazing. Good daytime smoke right here. Get some stuff done. Smoked a joint of this. Smoked a bowl of this. And the taste was exactly, I mean, it was just pine. It was just very piney. Okay. Get stuff done. I mean, very motivated. Great for social anxiety. Uh, getting stuff done. We'll talk about the special sauce. Now, y'all know I love Sour Space Candy, all right? And that was obviously my favorite because I love Sour Space Candy. But this was my second favorite. This There's something special about this special sauce, guys. This stuff is some Fuego Fire. It was crazy. It was like it was good either for daytime or it was good for nighttime. It didn't really matter when I smoked this. It put me in a great mood, great for pain. This was really good for my pains in my hand. This was some awesome stuff for that. Uh, definitely just put you in a good mood, get you focused, your mind right. Made me feel kind of creative and fun. Uh, this special sauce was where it was at. I'd say it was more of a hybrid-ish type of feeling. Good mix of sativa and indica-ish. I uh, didn't feel sleepy, nor did I feel like, you know, jacked up. I was just in a good mood. And last but not least, guys, Sour Space Candy. Bam! That pungent, sour, funk you, hit you in the mouth. Funk you. Not fuck you, funk you in the mouth. This stuff was some Fuego Fire. Sour Space Candy never lets me down. I love Sour Space Candy. All these are going into my head stash, but this Sour Space Candy was exceptionally well grown. It was awesome tasting. It was awesome effect. Um, so, so it's weird, and everybody's different. You know, people react to things differently. Sometimes with Sour Space Candy, I get this like kind of indica-ish feeling and relaxed. And sometimes I get like a sativa-ish feeling. I don't, I don't know what's up with that, depending on different strains I smoke. But this Sour Space Candy definitely made me feel kind of indica-ish. I felt very relaxed after smoking this Sour Space Candy, which is supposed to be kind of sativa-leaning. But man, I tell you, it, it made me feel very relaxed. Uh, took away the pain. It's good for nighttime, good for daytime, good for all the time. Sour Space Candy in your life. Make sure you check that out. Guys, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Go check out Cascadia Blooms on Instagram. They got some awesome stuff. They just put some pine berry on their website. They got a few pounds of the pine berry. And that pine berry is some Fuego Fire out here. I can't wait to try that. So definitely go check them out, guys, because you're not going to be disappointed. I'm putting them in my top five favorite companies now. Cascadia Blooms is where it's at. Definitely go check them out. Grown in Oregon. They got it going on out there in Oregon. So definitely go check them out. Cascadia Blooms. So if you like this video, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe, tell your friends. We're we'll going to be coming at you with a lot more CBD right here and cannabis product reviews soon. We got lots more hemp flower, guys. We're going to be posting this week and next week, okay? And then we're going to be gone for two weeks. We're going on vacation. We're leaving the country. But we will be back. But we're going to do probably one or two more reviews uh, on YouTube before we leave. And then you won't hear from us for about two weeks. Uh, but if you want to keep up with my travels, go check me out on Instagram because I'll have I'll be documenting my travels there, hoping to find some cool stuff uh, while I'm out of the country. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, so definitely go check that out. We got some big news coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And I appreciate you guys. You remember, you got to stay positive, you got to stay medicated. And until next time, guys, Hans out.